so you guys know what time it is and no i am not on my period it is time to do another 2024 way too early afl trade rumors updates where this afl player went to go take a big whopper lop of shit this morning all all you need to know about what is going on with today's afl trades and you know what with these videos for some reason i like to start and talking about like a richmond player and potentially what recent tiger wants to leave richmond to go play for the shanghai sharks or whoever it might be right but in today's video, we've actually got something brown, brown. What the fuck am I trying to say? In today's video, we've actually got something groundbreaking because for the first time in 288.9 years, there is not actually a player to talk about who wants to be traded, more so a player who potentially wants to be traded to Richmond. A recent report actually came out that said Jay Clark has reported that Richmond could be interested in trading for Elijah Sardis from Essendon. The former top five pick has been dominating the VFL, but is a long way down the pecking order in a stacked Bombers midfield list. Sardis, however, signed a two-year extension at the start of the year till the end of 2026. He appears quite happy at Essendon and given the contract, would be very unlikely to want to leave or for the Bombers to trade him. Again, I also heard there was a rumor he was a Richmond fan as a kid. I'm not completely sure if that's true, even if that really means anything. I mean, it's usually what team kind of holds up the bigger bag of money at the end of the day, right? Or has the best looking AFLW players. Torano, I know why you came to Richmond. It's not because you thought we were going to win a flag. It's because we got Monique Conti on our fucking team. And look, if I was you... I would have done the same thing. But this would obviously be a very good move for the Tigers, a very bad move for Essendon because if history has taught us anything, a young unproven player who was a former top 10 pick, when he is to get traded to another team, the other team never gets the full value that he is actually worth. Again, we don't know if he is going to be a good player in the league. He was taken at pick five, but obviously, he hasn't played like a pick five just yet. And there's no way in hell any team would give up a top 10 pick for a bloke who's been in the league two years and hasn't played that much football. These type of players always tend to go for like early second round picks to late second round picks. Again, we saw Liam Henry literally like a year ago was only in a couple years of his Dockers career, a top 10 pick. And he was traded for like, I think a second round pick. And he has proven a lot more than Elijah Sardis. I also think that Richmond are going to be interested in potentially trying to trade for Ben Hobbs. I wouldn't be surprised if they actually talked to both of those guys and said, look, you're obviously behind a bunch of players. Essendon have a great core midfield of like eight guys. They still haven't traded Dylan Shield. He's also still getting games over you guys. We, we want to bring one of you guys in to come and help our young core. Again, if Richmond could trade for Elijah Sardis and offer up a second round pick that's like pick 20 to 22, I would 100% do that if I was the Tigers. If I was the Bombers, well, you got to know and you got to think, is he, is he going to be the guy we think he is? If not, we can cash in and at least get a decent pick back for him or we can hold on to him. And then if we hold on to him in two years, he's either going to be a consistent 22 or we're going to be trading him for pick 50 or delisting him for nothing. That's the reality that Essendon have to face. And that's also a risk that Richmond have to take on potentially trading away a good second round pick for an unproven player who was two years into his career. Rumors say that Richmond are not only interested in Elijah Sardis, but could be very interested in Ben Hobbs. Again, funny that I actually talked about that in that video because a recent report is saying that rivals are keeping tabs on the Essendon midfielder. Out of favor, Essendon midfielder Ben Hobbs is reportedly being eyed off by rival clubs. Hobbs, who has featured in 10 games throughout 2024, has struggled to cement his spot who the fuck is trying to message me? You're cock blocking my video. Hobbs has struggled to cement his spot in the Bombers side as the emergence of Jai Coldwell and Sam Durham has seen them leapfrog him. 
Again, Essendon's midfield is one of the weirdest things at the moment right now because they have these ton of really good midfielders and for so long, they've just lacked that star power in there. But with the rise of, you know, Durham and obviously Jai Coldwell, you're starting to see that star power truly answer. Again, we need to start seeing it more from the back line and the forward line, but there definitely are some stars in that midfield now. And it's really funny because over the last couple of drafts, they've seen the midfield as an absolute weakness when there are some games where it's actually their strongest part now. You've got Zach Merritt, Durham, Coldwell, Stringer from time to time, Darcy Parrish when he's not injured with 888 different things, Dylan Shield, all of these guys doing their things. You've got the wingmen they're experimenting with like Hind. And then you've got the two guys, Elijah Sardis and Ben Hobbs, who just haven't been able to crack into the team because there's like nine guys in favor of them. And it's really difficult for them because I think they came in expecting to have like first crack. And not only have they not been able to prove themselves, but it just hasn't worked out. Elijah Sardis kind of got moved straight away to the wing when he became a bomber. And now they've got about four guys they'd rather rotate through there than him. Ben Hobbs straight away came in as an inside midfielder and has just really, really struggled to cement his spot. We know the Richmond Tigers right now are looking for some speed desperately in that midfield. They have one of the slowest midfields I have ever seen in league history. Jacob Hopper, Tim Taranto, and Dion Prestia, when those three blokes are in that center bounce together, it's like sometimes watching three fucking turtles run to the ball while you've got all of these like new and improved speedsters running in in the league. You got like Connor Rosie, Zach Butters, Nick Dacos, all of these dudes who are fast as fuck and the modern footballers. The Richmond midfielders just can't keep up. It's pretty much actually like the plot of Cars 3. Not that I think that's a good movie, but if any of you have seen it, Lightning McQueen is like the old fashioned, you know, race car that was good five years ago. But now there's this new modern day built car who's basically just touching him without consent on the race course. And that's basically what every midfield is doing to Richmond's. Not only do Richmond have no flexibility in there, they've got no speed. Again, I think Elijah Sardis would actually be a cool option for Richmond. He seems to be that more silkier player who could come in and play a bit more of that outside role to the already inside bulls that the Tigers have there. I just don't know if Ben Hobbs is the option for Richmond. And you can tell that they are the rival club most likely who are definitely keeping an eye on him and are probably doing their research right now to find out if Hobbs is the missing piece for them. I personally don't think he really is. I mean, they had the pick over Ben Hobbs and Josh Gibkiss a couple years ago, and they took Josh Gibkiss, and even though he's had like 18 broken backs, pussies, cracks, whatever the fuck he's always injured with, I still think they definitely made the right move there because in the short amount that we've seen of Josh Gibkiss, especially in the two games he played in 2024, he was absolutely incredible and looked like a generational player, while Ben Hobbs really hasn't shown anything yet. I'd, of course, though, really like to hear all of your thoughts and opinions on this down below. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Go and subscribe to my gaming channel and my IRL slash long channels. Links for them will be in the description down below. And yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions on all of these latest AFL trade rumors and news. I'd very much like to know. But yeah, leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.